What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today I'm going to show you how to wire the RCA to speaker wire cables. You can get the devices off Amazon for like 10 bucks. You get like six connectors if you want to spend the money. But if you have RCA cables laying around and you have that little speaker attachment and you're trying to get it plugged into your stereo or receiver, whatever you have, I'm gonna show you how to do it with those spare RCA cables. Quick, simple, easy to the point, like every other video I do. My speakers for the house that we just purchased are behind these curtains. Take a look here. There's a speaker right there. There's another speaker that's over here, back there. So in the bedroom, when we were setting everything up, there was like little wires that were running out. I'll show you where those are. That's gonna be these wires right here. So the goal is to hook that up so we can control it Bluetooth. We can control this device here through our phone. It's the acoustic audio. It's really cool to be able to control it through your phone without having to go to like Salvation Army and get a cheap little stereo to use these cables here. So we're just simply gonna take this and we're gonna add them to RCA cables. Let's go ahead and get started. Looks like we have uh, green and white, which is gonna be the left speaker and and the black and red, which is gonna be the right speaker. And regular speaker wires, you may just have like the two brown cables or they're really clear, but they're showing the, the copper that's inside and one has a stripe. The one with the stripe usually is always negative. You don't really have to follow that concept. Just make sure everything is consistent with your wiring. So if you put a negative to, let's say for instance, a red cable, then you wanna keep that consistent all the way through. The only way it really matters is if you're hooking it up to an amplifier, but the key is just stay consistent with it. But in this case, I have white and green, black and red, and then I have my RCA cables. In this particular situation, I already have the wire here, so I don't have to splice this one, but I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like inside one if you're using it. This one here, this is gonna be my ground cable. It has the white stripe. I'm just gonna follow regular theory, hook the ground up to the black, and then we're gonna hook the positive up to the red. Sorry for the panning in the background and the noise, that's Tony, she's trying to get to her toys. It's recording time, so it's toy time. We're simply gonna do that, and let's go ahead now. We're gonna take a knife, and we're just simply gonna go ahead and pull one of the RCAs off. That simple, that easy. Now you wanna just take scissors, whatever, splice it down. I'm gonna show you my cheat. I always done this in the past. I just simply take a lighter, let it heat up. Once it heats up, blow it off, pull it back. You'll get to your cables. So you're gonna have an outside cable and an inner cable. And I'm gonna use the outside cable as my ground, the inner cable as the positive. And like I said, it could be a big debate, it doesn't matter. Just keep it consistent and you'll be good to go. So that's gonna be my ground. This is gonna be my positive. I'm gonna do the same thing, hold the lighter up to it, burn it down, pull it off. So I have my splice wires here for the RCA. And of course, I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy here. Pull it down, heat it up, pop it right off. And like I said, if you don't have that, then just use scissors or use your cable cutting tools or whatever you want. This is just, Quick, easy, to the point, like I said, typical household items that you might have, get the job done. If you don't wanna do it, 10 bucks, Amazon, you can get it. So here we go, I'm gonna take the one with the white stripe, I'm gonna use that as my ground, I'm gonna hook that up to the black cable here. Just simply take it, twist it around, make sure it's nice and tight. Then I'm gonna take the other cable here and I'm gonna hook it up to the red. Now this is going straight to this RCA. So now let's do the other side. So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna use this as our positive on this side. Blend them together. And then we're gonna take the other and hook it up to the negative. Now we got both connectors done. Nice, easy. Only thing that sucks is this one's all long, this one's short. So I'm gonna do a quick edit really quick just to even this out because it bothers me. It bothers your boy. That simple. It's even, looks a lot better. Lastly, you're gonna take some duct tape. Not duct tape, I'm sorry, electrical tape. I use the black electrical tape. You can use red, whatever, it doesn't matter what color. And you simply wanna just wrap that around the wires because you don't want them to touch each other and short out or anything like that. So it's important that your wires, exposed wires, don't touch each other. So you can just get yourself some black electrical tape and get it from the Dollar Tree. You might have it around your household, hopefully and just simply wrap it up this way. They also have these cool things you can get on Amazon. They're like these little rubber covers. You could just simply put it on there and you actually light it with your lighter and it just shrinks perfect fit to the wire. Those are cool, very cheap also. 
think they're usually made over in China. You can get them dirt cheap on Amazon. So now that the wires are not exposed, this side is good to go. Let's take care of this side. I'm gonna plug it in and rock out. Okay guys, now that we got our cables done, we're gonna just simply go ahead and plug these in. Okay, Tony wants to help. We're gonna simply plug these in. Here's our output. So that's input going into the speaker. So we're gonna use the output. So there's a front speaker, front right, front left. So we're gonna use this as left and right. Plug those guys in and we should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and connect Shelly's phone to the Bluetooth. And this is the subwoofer, of course, and the other speakers that I showed you earlier in the video are going to be the ones that are gonna play and we should have some sound. So let's go ahead and check it out. It works. There you go. You have it short, simple to the point. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Join your boy on this journey. We've got a lot of cool things coming your way. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out. Matt DIY. Till next time. Peace.